Hey there, it's Carrie Rhodes. Welcome back to my stand studio here in Eagle, Idaho and another YouTube video. Today is episode one of my June stand set of the month series. This month I am featuring the brand new Lawn Fawn stamp set, Car Critters. I think it's adorable and it's a very affordable stamp set, which I love because I like to get lots of things from Lawn Fawn. So when it's a cheaper set, I can get more, right? Anyways, in today's video, I am making a flippin' awesome card and I'm not tooting my own horn. So let's get started. Let's start out by stamping out the images from the Car Critters stamp set that I will be using for my card today. Since I'm doing a flippin' awesome card, I have four miniature scenes that I'll be working on. So I need lots of things. And these are the Copic markers that I will be coloring them with. So this is YG11. I'm coloring in the whole car with this lighter or lightest green color. And then I'll bring in my mid-tone and add some shadows in. And once I get the mid-tone covered, I will bring in the darkest color, the YG17. And then I just go back and forth between those colors and darkening them and blending them out. So you, here you'll see me using that mid-tone marker again, spreading and blending out that darkest color and then bringing in my lightest to just blend it all out. And that is exactly how I will be coloring all four of my cars. There's only three here. I had previously colored one when I went camping this weekend, but I had done the license plate different. And so I decided I needed my cars to be exactly the same for this particular card. So here I am coloring in the parts of the car that would be chrome and I'm using some cool markers for that. And then I thought the headlights should be yellow because my car is going to be driving through a sunset in this particular scene. And then some darker cool markers for the tires. And now I'm coloring all the bears with the same E markers, E23, E13 and E11. And I have four bears that are exactly the same on here. So I colored all four of those at once. Um, here I'll pause and show you the complete coloring of them, but they're really small images. So it's really easy to color them. You can keep your Copic marker coloring very, very simple. I kept them really light just because they're so small and they're inside of a car. I didn't want them to be too dark. And then some C6 for the steering wheel. Now the die set that comes with this, you can cut out the car just like this, or you can cut out the windshield. You want the windshield cut out if you're going to die cut your little critters and stick them in there, but you can also stamp the little bears right in the car. So do it either way, what works best for your card. I think I could have stamped them in the card and not die cut them. Whatever. So now we're stamping the license plate to say I love you on each of the cars. And then I'll put the little critters into the car they belong in. So the first car is going to have the driver um, waving to the other bear who has its arms up and that's a happy little scene and then the next car you can see the passenger is changing but the driver has stayed the same in each of them so you'll see um, why this matters as the card and the scenes come together then I took some liquid stardust and painted it on the headlights for the cars giving them that kind of metallic sheen and I think it's a super great addition to these headlights. Here is the Flippin' Awesome die set and the add-on for it. I did not end up using the add-on as I thought I would, but I showed it there. I have the die cut pieces and some other pieces that I'm going to need to ink blend on, as you see me doing on this strip with some black soot distress oxide ink. Once I have that completely covered, I don't want it to be perfect. I want a little blotchiness. I'm going to splatter that with my distress sprayer that is filled with water and pick up the excess after just a minute. And I love that look. Next, I will splatter on some black 
licorice silk from fun stampers journey and add to that look now this looks really dark when it goes on but don't worry because when it dries it's going to have a really cool shimmer to it see you in this picture right here you can see some are still wet and some have dried and it's that really cool metallic shimmer all right, on to the background of my card. I'm using the Cloudy Stencil, and I'm going to stencil this entire panel with Mustard Seed. I will be using all four sides of the stencil to create this look. And when I start splattering and all the things, it seems really overboard. But so much of this is going to be covered up as well as the miniature scenes for the flipping part of the card that it's okay to do all that extra because you want it to show in the little places and spaces that are going to be open on this card. So it's okay to go overboard when so much of your card is going to be covered. So speaking of overboard... <laughs> I did spray this with water and I might have got a ton on there, but oh my word, it looks so cool. I love doing my clouds in different colors. Now here are the small squares that will be a part of the Flippin' Awesome set and I needed four of those for this card. So I die cut four and each of the cloudy scenes are going to be a little bit different. The first one was all yellow like the background of the card. The second one is going to be yellow with some ripe persimmon and you'll see that it's just going to blend together. And on each of these I am tapping off the excess ink from my dauber and then blending over my clouds for a really wispy look. I love this look. And then I'll spray this one with water and I'll tell you what I noticed. The ripe persimmons does not react as much with the water unless you have a really high concentration of that ink, which I felt was a little bit different than most of the other Distress Oxides. So panel number three is going to be just ripe persimmons, and I am blending over the top of that with the same ink dauber to soften that look and spraying it with water. And you'll see here still hardly any reaction. So this time I went really heavy with the right persimmons and then it's going to uh, fade into, blend into seedless preserves. And this color, I must just have a really juicy pad. I barely have to ink my dauber and a ton comes out. So I'll tap off my blender and then I'll go ahead and blend that into the ripe persimmons. And then we will go ahead and splatter this one. And now I did get some reaction with the water on this panel. And then I need to ink blend on the last panel of the Flippin' Awesome Mechanism. So I'm doing that with just seedless preserves on this one. And oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. And it turned out so very beautiful. This is such a fun color to use for a sunset sky. Love it. So I did three layers here and then again with the light blending over the top and once that is complete yes there will be more splattering so you get the picture the stencil the over the top blending and then the spritzing next we're going in with more splatter. So I put a little liquid stardust on a window sheet, a little bit of water, and I'm using a paintbrush to splatter that all over. I'm going to do that with all of these ink blended panels, and it makes a really fine mist of shimmer. It's so very gorgeous. Now the reason why my tip is not on my liquid stardust, it has a little tip, is because mine does not come out the tip. What is up with that? I have no idea. So I, this is my workaround. I just take that tip off. I leave it on so I don't get any spills. And then I just, I'm working around it. And that bottle's almost gone. So I'll be getting a new one soon. But look at that fine mist of shimmer. It's so yummy. Okay, so now I have my black strip and I'm sticking that on. That's gonna be the road for this card. And once that is adhered nice and um, securely. I'll trim off the excess, which I'll use for another piece later. And then I did road on all four of those panels. And here's where I realized I inked the wrong side of the mechanism. So I redid it and that was the one that I redid. Lesson learned, you got to ink the back side of the pull tab mechanism if you're going to ink it. 
Okay, learn from me. Do as I say, not as I do, right? It's old standby. I am learning these lessons the hard way for you. Yeah. All right, so we're putting some music notes on the first square and the last square, and then that will kind of frame our scene. So in the first scene, everything's happy. We're going on an evening sunset drive, and then recalculating, we might be lost. And then we have to get the map out, and now we figured out where we are, and we're happy listening to music again, just like a lot of couples probably face going on a road trip, right? I thought it was really fun and a good kind of light humor love card. Yeah. All right. So now we're going to glue the little scenes onto the mechanism. It's hard to see here, but they're scored lines. So you want to put the glue just on the first rectangle between the two scored lines. You press that into place and then I like to fold it back and really press it down. If you prefer double stick tape, you could use that here. I love me some liquid adhesive. It's my favorite, it, but it's not for everybody. I get that. All right, so then you do the same thing with the second square, just in between those two scored lines. The same with the third panel. Pressing that into place. And then the fourth and final panel will get glued completely onto that last square on the mechanism. And you wanna just make sure that the edges are glued down really well. And then you have your four scenes for your flipping awesome card. Isn't that cool? Okay, now we're gonna get a sentiment for the final panel. And I have a scrap still of that black soot piece and I'm stamping, I'd be lost without you. Isn't that so perfect? I love this little card. I'm embossing that with some white powder. So we'll sprinkle that on and let my coffee filter catch all the excess. And I can pour that back in later. Some people asked what that dish is. It's a Cool Whip container. Fits the coffee filters perfectly. So you have my permission to go get some Cool Whip. Maybe some strawberries to go with it. What else goes good with Cool Whip? Pie. Um vanilla wafers. I don't know. What do you think goes good with Cool Whip? <laughs> a spoon? <laughs> okay, so now I'm gluing the background panel onto just a really lightweight piece of cardstock because I put so much water on it that it warped a little and I needed it to be flat and sturdy to glue on my flipping mechanism. So these little tabs fold back and this is the only thing that adheres this to the card. So Make sure you've got it where you want it and you really secure it well to the card base. We need all the other pieces to move. All right, so now I pulled out my bug deal stamp or die set and use this die that cuts out the little mound of dirt as a cloud. It is like a small wispy looking cloud and I thought a little added something extra would be good at the top of this card. So that's what I did there. And then I have my Life is Good stamp set, which has two birds. And I picked the smallest bird. And I'm going to stamp that at the top of the card for some more added interest. Because when you're on a road trip or a car trip, I don't know about you, but we and my family are always on the lookout for wildlife. And here in Idaho, we definitely see some. We just saw some deer on our last trip. And that's it's always a fun thing for my family is to see who finds the first deer, who sees the most deer, that kind of thing. We love it. And elk too. We saw some elk on our, our drive too. It was quite a few actually. Pretty exciting. All right. So I added some more birds to the last panel and I used my gel pen to fill in some of those spots where the white embossing, you know, wasn't awesome. And then the same white gel pen to add some highlights to my car. I had a little sticky spot there, so I pulled out my adhesive eraser to get that out of the way. And then I made sure I really paid attention to where I put the white highlights so I could do the exact same thing on the other three cars, which I did. And let's take a look. Isn't it cute? Oh my word. Okay, so I have still pictures of each of these at the end of this video as well as on my blog so you can check it out. And guess what? I will be back next week with another idea for you with this stamp set. And every week, 
for the month of June. It's very exciting. I love it. I hope you love it too. And if you have any thoughts or comments or questions, I would love to hear from you. So leave those in the comments below. And if you're new, feel free to subscribe because I have videos all week and I would love to connect with you through crafting. All right, happy stamping. I'll see you again soon. Bye.